Hello, today we're gonna draw spring baby chickens, little beep beep little chickens, so cute. Hello, hello. So, today we're going to draw baby chickens, baby chickens, also known as chicks. So, how do you draw a baby chick? Very, very good question. As always, we're going to start with a circle. Why do we start with a circle? Well, that's because that's where we start. Circles. Then, we're going to, so this is going to be the chicken body, and good chickens, good chicks have kind of big fat bellies. Well, you know, so we got another circle in here, and this is going to be his or her head. All right. Hey, Brady. Yeah, voice. Why do you just, why don't you just start off doing this? Well, voice, it's because that is not a good idea. This is a good idea. Why is that voice? Well, wait, I got my voices mixed up. So this voice says, why is that? And Brady says, well, it's because we're going to build structures and shapes and things like that. And that helps us build, be able to draw something. I don't want you to just be able to draw exactly like I did. I want you to be able to draw these things for real. So this is why we always start this way. All right, so we got a head. We got a body. What else we got going on? We need some feet. So we're gonna have some, some feet down here. Well, let's see, which direction shall our chicken face? Well, we'll draw two chickens today. One chicken we shall draw facing the other way. We're gonna erase this. I did it wrong. Here we go. Same idea, quickly. Ooh, body for the chicken. Head for the chicken, so she may think and eat. Body for the chicken, so she may move. Good. All right. So, and this chicken is going to go that way. All right. That looks like a mess, Brady. No, this is art. Art is a mess until the very, very last moment. Last moment. Then it's not a mess. But it's until then, it's a mess. Always. There we go. We're going to draw some eyes. We have a lot of different options for eyes. We have dot eyes. We have big cartoony eyes. It is your choice, friends. You can draw, I mean, you can draw eyes like this. You can draw eyes any which way you want. But for me, I'm going to draw these kind of eyes for this chicken. And when you're drawing eyes, you know, like you can have a dot eye, but I like to put a little, a little secondary circle in there, right? This is going to be the gleam in the chicken's eyes, and that is going to be where a little bit of a shine. I think it just makes it look cuter, you know. And I'm all about cute, so we're going to go about drawing a. Actually, I'm not even going to. I'm going to draw. Sometimes you can draw like this, like have the, the shine inside the eye, or you could have the shine on the outside of the eye, like that. This is the kind of eye we're going to do right now. So it's got some shine in here. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to draw a beak. Beaks look a lot like this. Uh, you know, so it's real exciting beaks. They mostly look like triangles. This way, it goes this way. Also looks like a triangle, but just kind of a little bit different. So we're gonna go, and since it's baby, baby things have their faces squinched up, right? So if you're to normal, if you're gonna draw like a person, this looks like a person, right? But if you wanna say, I wanna draw a baby, it's not that you draw his head smaller. Check this out, watch this, ready? Boom, boom. Boom, eee. whoa, look at that, baby. <laughs> and this is only because you squinched up the proportions of the face. Same, same, same general, I mean, it's a little smaller, but that's not the thing, because you could draw these like small and it would still look like a person, like, a, like an adult. You put them together, cute. Same idea here. We're gonna put his, Beak, just like that. And then we're going, that chicken is almost done. Can you believe that? No, I can't. All right, now we're gonna go in and erase our guidelines. Erase our 
race these guys, and you you know you can just race all of that kind of stuff because then what you're going to do is you're going to go about making the final piece, like the final, and you know, chosen line. This uh, is your chosen line, and uh, there we go. So th this dude is going to need some wings. So we're going to the wings are just a little bit of a little bit of that over here, a little bit of that over here. There we go. Boom. Boom. And because it's a chicken, I like to put a little little pizzazz on on see you could do it like this, right? Just just a line. But it's no fun, right? Then it looks like a peep or something. Like it's like things nature doesn't like straight lines. So we're gonna put some chica pa pow, chica pa pow. Like these little hairs, right? Like these are little little fuzzes. We're gonna boom 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 fuzz fuzz. Fuzz fuzz. And uh we're gonna put some fuzz here. Oh yeah. Starting to chicken all over the place right here. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Fuzz, fuzz. Fuzz, pow. Oh, man. This chicken has just become alive. And see, I'm using, I'm not, you don't start with the fuzz, fuzz. No, that's a mess. Wrong, wrong. You start with the shape, and then you add the fuzz. Fuzz comes later. Fret not. The fuzz shall be there. But you do it after. You got to build the shape first. That's why everybody always, everybody always messed that part up. And nobody ever told me that. Whenever I was drawing, they're like, here, draw this shape like that. And I'm like, what? That was a mess. But when I learned how to draw the stuff underneath it, the shapes underneath it, oh, everything became alive. So then we, now we add details, right? We, we layer things. So I'm just going to have some fuzz down here with a belly, belly fuzz. You know, I got fuzz down here, all right? And then his feet are just going to be like, bow, bow, bow. and it's like, bow. we're not really focusing too much on feet. Because I don't know, maybe we're going to put some shoes on it now, or maybe we're going to turn them into flippers or maybe they're going to be rockets this is ready we don't know oh my goodness look at the cuteness the cuteness is overloaded all right great chicken let's look at this guy what are we going to do well we've kind of got the same shape but he's going to be facing the other way i guess this is a walking chicken this is the night of the living walkers the chicken walkers chicken walker farm ranger that joke may not hit. That may have been a little past you guys. There we go. So we want to move the eye a little forward. Similar gleam in the chicken eye. Give him a little, a little beak, right? So you can do beak here. You can do beak this way, but I'm gonna do a little beak up. You know why? Because I'm, I'm wild, and I think it looks so cute. I'm just such a cute little, little beak right there. Look at that. Okay. So he's got anyway, this this one you can't really see its mouth. So we're, we're, we're going to have this beak just kind of come in and just kind of give the suggestion of a second a secondary beak like this. Because this is just kind of like beak one or beak two. And then we're going to have ourselves a little bit of some wangs. We got wang here. Even though we are chicken and we don't really use our wings very well, we will have them anyway. Feats of the chicken, and then I'm going to have a little chicken tail, a wee chicken tail, just a little suggestion, a little, little triangle down there. Now we have our shape, our general shape. What are we going to do? And everybody says, we're going to erase it lightly and bring the more sure lines. That's right. But when we do that, you know what we're going to do? What? We're going to add details. Right, now we got details. Now we can add fuzzes. Now we can add all kinds of things. Right? Because, that's, because we build on top of it. We don't just start there. Right? We build our shape out. And then we add the details. Don't skip this step. I'm going to skip, I'm going to skip this step. You better not. Better not skip this step. Whoa, I'm awesome. Well, you may be awesome, and I hope that you are. But this will help you draw in the future. Look, I mean, I kind of draw for a living, and this is how I still do it. So please do not think that artists or people who are good at art skip this step, because we don't. We still do this. Nose. We, we draw in shapes and add details. If there's one thing that you know from Brady is this is how real artists draw. 
and also that real artists use uh, real artists use erasers. We it's not we make mistakes constantly. All right, so that's kind of your chickens, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add pizzazz, and so it's time to open up your imaginarium. Whoa, imaginarium! Where do they live? So what I do is first we draw the shape, and then we're gonna draw all the stuff where they, like I don't know where do they live? Where what are they doing? So with this chicken here, you know, I'm going, I'm gonna erase some of my faces here. I'm gonna say, well, I don't know, maybe this chicken is like, he's got these wings. And so I ask, the, I ask questions to help with my imagination. I said, one, where do they live? Two, what do they do? And three, what do they like? And so for him, he, he's got wings, so he wishes that he could actually fly in like a really awesome way. Uh, and so I'm gonna be like, okay, cool, That's, I, I dig that. So we're going to make him actually into a fighter pilot because this is going to be call sign, yellow belly. And it's like, Maverick, what are you doing? And he's like, no, nah. he's like, yellow belly, where are you? And it's like, there's all bogeys all around me. And it's like, yeah, go, yellow belly, where are you? He's like, Maverick, hold on, I'm there in 10 seconds. Right, and that's how what we're gonna do. Because we're gonna, he's gonna be like, he's got a sign here and he's like, he's got chicken foot. He's like, I'm yellow belly. And he, he, so now we're gonna add dress up. Right, so so I'm thinking, oh, he he wants to be in an, air, you know, he's going to be in an airplane, right? And uh, and so he's going to actually need some accoutrement, as you were. Uh, he's going to need some stuff. He's going to basically need to play dress up, and so we're going to play dress up with his with his airplane here, boom, and then he's going to be like, and he, and maybe he is like the airplane, maybe he's just this like like this, maybe he's, yeah, he, oh yeah, and he's, like this airplane is a part of him, see, and you can just kind of discover along the way where you're like, because I just started this, and I was like, well, I don't know, maybe he wants to be in an airplane, but maybe as you're drawing, you're like, well, maybe, what if, that's the deal, you play what if, and like, well, what if his wing was actually the airplane wing and that's what he's always wanted because he's not like, hey, I want an airplane. He's like, dude, I am a bird. I should be able to fly because I'm a freaking bird. And so he's like, okay, cool. And then so he's got his wing is a part of the airplane, right? And then he's like, Psh. he's got his cone here. And then this part, he's still got his feet. His feet will be his landing gear. And then we'll continue out, you know, up here and and like as I'm finishing drawing this, I like you know I'm gonna add all this junk out here. And, and he's got engines, and he's got he's he can decorate it and do all kinds of fun stuff. But that's how we imagine, right? Like I want you to be able to imagine. I don't want you just to be able to draw a chicken, which is good to draw a chicken. But isn't it more fun to imagine and use your imagination? Okay, call sign yellow belly. Done. Let's do it again. Practice again. All right. How do we draw a chicken? We draw a chicken. We start with the circle and then we draw another circle on top. And that's how we draw a chicken. Done. Alas, I'm just kidding. It's not done. We're going to draw the chicken going this way. So we're going to have a chicken going. He's got his eye. Do -do 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 He's got his beak, remember, his triangle, and it's up, facing up, because I like it facing up. You can face it down, you can face it straight, you can face it any way you want. It's your chicken, man. I'm not here to try, I'm not here to, you know, try to boss you around about your chicken. All right, you gotta have his wing, and then he's got his feet. And then, so that's the very basic form of the chicken, all right? That's just the chick. So now we're gonna erase our guidelines, and then we're going to play. What shall we play? Well, we're going to play imagination. What shall we do with our chicken? We say, okay, what are we gonna ask? Where do they live? Huh? What do they do? What do they like? 
ask some of these questions so we can play imagination. And then, they need, and then we're going to, once we have the answers to that, then we have, we have, we play dress up. So they got stuff. And then we got their, what are their things? What are their vehicles? Brady can't draw, can't write the word vehicle, but imagine that says vehicle. I don't know how to spell that. And then we play dress up. You think I'm kidding about not being able to spell. I legitimately cannot spell. It's a gift. All right. So I think right now we're going to live in the jolly old England in the olden days. This chicken is going to be a queen. She will be a queen of England chicken. And what will she be like? I don't know what she likes. But first, maybe these things will come, will come alive. So we're going to dress up. What we need to do is dress up. What does a queen, a chicken queen, need? Well, a chicken queen needs chicken queen dresses. So she shall have a royal outfit with a collar of great beauty. Beautiful collar of majesty. Oh my goodness. She is regal, and her, she will have a big bouffant hairdo, right? Because she is a beautiful queen, rich and powerful. And we're going to see, we need to, we're going to put all of this, we're just building it, right? We're not making mistakes, we're just building these things. Like, I don't have the foggiest idea what her hair needs to look like. So I'm just kind of just feeling it out. All right? Okay, so her hair's gonna be, she's gonna have butterflies up here because that's what we do. We have butterflies in her hair. And she's also got like, she's also a little bit crazy because she got like, she's got spiders in her hair. I'm like, why you got a spider in your hair? It's like, I'm a queen. Don't ask questions. Okay, okay. So she's got this and she's got big, beautiful, Diamonds, right? She's got a big necklace here. Okay, and she's also got on a dress, a beautiful, queenly dress. This is her sleeve. It's going to come out. Oof. She is a sight to behold. Does she have anything on her feet? Maybe she will have, maybe her feet will be in Special shoes, she'll have big queenly shoes, I'm like Cinderella shoes. And she will have her feet in these shoes. She will be like, what's up? But if she does that, she's a little higher off the ground, so her dress is gonna need to come down. Cool. So we've got her as a Beautiful chicken queen. Oh, she's got just jewels, jewels, just dripping off her because she's very rich and very powerful. It's like, I am Queen Chicken Botham, and I come from the land of, or I rule the land of Future Tender. I will be a Future Tender's Queen Chicken Bottom. And uh, so she is very beautiful. She's gonna have some righteous some eyelashes. Oh, but she's also a little bit mean, right? And all of her little chicken, her like subjects are like, oh, she's also got, oh, she needs something else. She's like, got not, needs a staff. She's like, I command thee to bring me to Kentucky where the rest of my chicken subjects are. Bring me to Kentucky. I will free them from their imprisonment and their future chickenness, or future future dinner. All right, here we go, we got this going on. And then she's in front of her little, her little like, oh, Queen Chicken Bottom, we love you. And she's like, that's cool. I'm like, oh, Queen Chicken Bottom, what shall you have us do today? She's like, I will have you serve me because you are small chickens and I'm big, important, queenly chicken. And she's like, oh, you know, and we can just go on and on with this. So, this is important. Where does she live? What does she do? Does she like playing imagination? Last one. 
let's do a chicken. Let's make a chicken shape, chicken shape, chicken shape. We're gonna draw a circle and then another one on top of the chickens, chickens. There we go. So, oh man, that's exactly how we do it. We just draw our chicken shapes, our baby chicks, because it's cute springtime, time for baby things. Boop, doop, 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 doop. All right, and then I'm gonna add the details. Oh wow! Look at that one. That went crazy. There we go. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and I'm just gonna have some. All right, chicken feet. These guys are gonna be like little circles because these feet are looking right at you. It's like, what are you looking at? It's like, I'm just a chicken feet. It's like, what? What's up with the chicken feet? It's like, don't go to China. They're going to eat you. And like, you're going to eat my chicken feet? It's like, yeah, man. It's cool. I'm going to make soup out of your chicken feet. It's crazy. I'm like, oh, man. There we go. We're going to have a little detail in here. Fuzz, fuzz. Fuzz, fuzz. And then his head is over his fuzzy little bellies. I'm going to give him some fuzz up here. Fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Fuzz, fuzz. Fuzzy cheeks. Fuzzy cheeks. All right. Okay. So this is our friend the chicken. Now, friends, I ask you, what if? What do we do? Where, what is this chicken going to do? I want you to draw your own imagination, you know? So let's, let's ask what if. What if? What if? This chicken's on the moon. What if this chicken is at school? What if this chicken is on a circus? What if this chicken is underwater? What if this chicken is on a hot air balloon? And then, what else do you need? What else do you? What else lives there? What? Uh, what does it dress up as? These kinds of stuff. So, I hope you draw this chicken, and I hope you dress it up and put it into a whole another story and like make this story make imagination because you've taken your genarium and what is it it's a chicken no it's not just a chicken it is a chicken sports star who is about to be at the olympics or it is a chicken astronaut or it is a chicken candy maker he makes candies in the shape of chickens which is very odd and scary frankly i hope you enjoyed this hope you learned how to make some chickens please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this, please subscribe, and I will make more of them. Hang on tight, and you'll, I'll quickly color this one in hyperspeed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye! Alright, so we drew our friend the baby chick. I hope you had a good time. And also, uh, if you want to know how I ink, um, I have two videos up right now and I'll have a bunch more videos on how to ink because there's a lot more to say about how to ink. So, uh, check it out and I'll see you next time. Bye!